Hi everyone, I just got home from an estate sale and a pretty weird thing happened. I went into the garage to look at some pottery and I I always hold everything to, you know, see the quality of the piece. And I was like, this is kind of heavy. So I took the top off and there were like animal or human ashes in it. So that was... I was kind of like, ugh, I didn't want to touch it, but I told the people that worked there and they took it off the shelf. It was the second day, so I can't believe no one noticed that before, but that was some excitement this morning. <laughs> um, the lady that lived there, she had great taste in art and pottery and just home decor, so it was a really fun sale to shop. So let's get into the haul. I have some from Goodwill, some from the estate sale, um, some hard goods, and some clothing. The first thing is this clown. Vintage from 1971, and it's got like a wall hanging thing, so I thought that was cute and sad. <laughs> I found these really cool bowls made in India. They're just set up too. Very intricate detailing on there. So I thought those were really pretty. Here's what the back looks like. I'm not sure what the country is on this. But if anyone knows what this symbol is, let me know. This part, I think it's one of the, these is bent, so I'm going to have to bend it back because it's not laying flat. That's what the inside looks like. I need to clean it out. I found these elephant thingies trays or jewelry maybe it's by good earth fine bone china also another elephant thing i found i thought this was really well made this was from the estate sale today and it feels like maybe clay it doesn't feel like metal I listed a cross just like this a few days ago and it sold within like 10 minutes. So I bought another one. It's not as nice as the other one. I think it's metal and wood. I also found this cute juice jar with Russian dolls. So I figured I'd pick that up. At Goodwill, I found a Lily Pulitzer jewelry box. It's got like a mermaid on the top. And on the inside it says, too much is never enough. Vibes. At the estate sale today, I found these hanging art pieces. Oh, there's like a butterfly on there. There's two of them. And they've got quotes on there. What we need are more people who specialize in the impossible. And just living is not enough, said the butterfly. One must have sunshine, freedom, and a little flower. I thought that was real cool. I also found a cool beaded box. It feels very well made. I think it's wood on the inside. I found this stained glass little lampshade. with these little round flowers. Don't judge me for this 
pillowcase, but I thought it was funny. And the lady at the estate sale took a picture of it. Are cuss words allowed on YouTube? I don't think so. I'm not always a bee. Just kidding. Go F yourself. <laughs> that might be a gift for somebody. I don't think it has a brand. I filmed this at the estate sale also. Welcome to the shit show. It's like a kitchen towel. I found this at the estate sale. It's like an art deco wood. I don't know if it's a painting, but wood art. This is also from the estate sale. I think this is an espresso cup. Artist signed. Some more art. It says Coleman on the bottom. More pottery. It says Stoss on the bottom. I love this one. It's so ugly. It doesn't have a maker on there. Green and ugly looking. I got this witch parking only violators will be toads sign at the estate sale. This person had a lot of eclectic taste which I appreciate. And this little tchotchke. I am thankful for many things, but mostly for good wine and my exquisite taste in friends. By Curly Girl Design. Retail. Oh, I thought it said $40. $10. These I thought were beautiful. From the estate sale. There's like a, it's almost like a flower imprint. So pretty. These two bags I was very excited about. I've never found this before. Tooled leather, pink with a braided strap by Pat Patricia Nash. And it's got a really nice, I think it's suede interior. So that was exciting. And I think I'm going to keep this because it's totally something I would wear. It's a fry bag crossbody with a chain detail. I paid 20 for it. I know I can get 80 for it, but I think it might just have to stay at my house. A yeah, clothing haul. I found a Chaser Graphic Tee, Easy Tiger, Easy Tiger, this is, I don't remember, Fabletics Tank, love selling, selling Fabletics, Acme and Kin, beautiful. Look at the detailing on there. No missing beads. This is a new to me brand, the Impeccable Pig. So we'll see how that does. Good for fall though. Thinking about fall already. I found this cabbie old tag dress, but it's a sample. So I thought I'd pick it up because I figure there aren't a lot of them. This Theory Sleeveless, I don't know if that's considered a cow neck or a turtleneck, navy blouse. I 
This is Banana Republic, but it's for Mad Men, which I sold before a long time ago. I haven't seen, I never come across it. Uh, Betsy Johnson tie-dye tank. I love Betsy Johnson. An Adidas zip up. Size large. Sorry, I haven't been saying the sizes. Uh, Boston proper size small. I heard that they do well on thread up, so maybe I'll try that out. It's going to be my first two bags, I think, for thread up. So let me know what brands have worked well for you. This is Lovers and Friends, which is the first time I'm picking it up. It's got a cold shoulder and a flare sleeve, size medium. This is a Torrid size 2, which is a 2X floral with a, it's kind of a box sleeve. Cabbie size small knit tag with this, what do you call that? Wrapping? I don't know what you call that. This Chaser Basic Black in detail. I don't pick up, I don't pick up Talbots a lot, but this was new with tags that retail for 149. It's a size 10 velvet, velvet blazer. This is all from Goodwill. Uh, John Barbados peace sign shirt. This is one I was really excited about. It's a Keith Richards in the Expensive Winos, which was his um, solo band. And these go for like 200 bucks on eBay. It's got like a, I don't know what's the front and what's the back, but it's got a snakeskin trim. This is my second time selling Honey Punch. I thought that was pretty. Size medium. Jasmine and Juliana, which is, I've never sold before, but it had this embroider detail and it's a 1X. So I thought I'd give it a try when it has this flare sleeve. <clears throat> this is Tracy Reese 100% silk size 4 floral beaded tank. Sorry if you hear noise outside. They're doing construction on my road finally. Every time I ride my bike, I'm like <laughs> going over potholes. A uh, uh, theory size P small, so it's a small. Um, I believe it's silk, 100% silk top. Fabletics joggers. extra large. I picked up Universal Threads for uh, by, sorry something's in my eye, <laughs> um, my thread up box. Poke it up. I picked up this Apartment 9 Capri for my thread up box. It's got 
new tag says 12. This is also going to thread up. It's a, just a plain Patagonia gray t-shirt with a size medium. I picked up a Dartmouth, Dartmouth sweatshirt, Dartmouth. How do you even say it? Muxxen, M-U-X-X-N. It's a very form-fitting almost like 50s style dress. It's hard to show you, but it's a size medium. I'm gonna have to do a stock photo on that, I think. This is a brand that I've sold before, Ruli, size large, with this cool sleeve, floral, maxi. These were a free neighborhood porch pickup. <laughs> I've never done that before, but I saw these. It's Mephisto. Mephisto? I don't know how you say it. I've never heard of it. That's what it looks like. And they are brand new. This is something I sourced from ThreadUp. I don't even remember where it is. For Love and Lemons top. Pretty. It says Queen, an individual who is working it. Yes, Queen. <laughs> Cute. This is a vintage linen dress by Sweet Jessie by me. And it's got these little buttons. It's a maxi dress. It's a Virgin Mary figurine from, I think it's the 50s. It's from West Germany, and there's the maker. I don't know if you can see it. I thought this was so pretty. It's made in India. I just noticed a flaw. Maybe I can sew that up. Don't you just love when you find that at home? But. Nevertheless, it's really cute. It's by Sapoji, and it's one size fits all, which I hate when they say that. I would say that's a large. This is my first time finding this brand. It is Roland Moray for Banana Republic. Cute. Here is another, I think it's a religious piece. I thought that was really beautiful. I didn't even look at the bottom yet. There's nothing. This is a Chico's lace green top with this cool sleeve. I love it. Love it. That's a uh, size zero. This is a Madewell extra small. sleeveless dress. I don't know if it's wool, but it's very fall. No, it's cotton. I love a leopard print. This is by Lane Bryant, size 26, 28. 
this fabric feels so nice. It is cloth and stone. It is a vintage sequin top. The tag is too faded to show anything. This is a new brand to me, Massimo Duty. I don't know if that's how you say it, or I'm butchering it. That's what it looks like. It's a wool skirt, size six. It's very wrinkled. This is a Stussy, I don't know if that's how you say it, t-shirt. I've never sold that before, so that's new to me. Adriana Papel dress with these cutout details. What is that? I'm gonna have to get that out. My cat's playing with trash. I love how you get them toys and they just want to play with trash and boxes. Every day is an adventure. Ew, what does it sound like there's water in there still? Ew, what the heck? Oh! <laughs> Gross! Uh. Why did I do that? Good thing I have this. No, it's dripping all over me. Hopefully that's dishwasher liquid. <laughs> I'm all wet. Moving on. Free People Lace Up Sweater. Kind of a little tiny mini flare sleeve. That's The large. Really no. Back up. He <laughs> wants to play with the strings. This is a vintage silk um, robe. I've sold one kind of like this. It's a tall man, 2x, 3x. I don't know if there's a pattern. It's kind of a diamond pattern. I don't know if you can tell. This is a torrid size two dress, sweater dress. It's got a high low um, bottom. Perfect for fall. This is a Anthropology Maeve size 4 blouse. This is Vanessa Virginia from Anthropology sweater dress. Is that a dress? Yeah. Long sleeve. <clears throat> and it's uh, glitter, black glitter. With kind of a turtleneck. This is Free People size medium. How does this go? Is 
This is the back. And there's the front. This is a dress. Yeah, it's a little cute dress. Here is an Athleta size 6. I think this is a swim dress. Athleta's been doing great for me. And it's got a cool pattern. More Athleta size small leopard leg leggings. This is a cloth and stone lace-up back dress, black, long sleeves. It's a short dress, so pretty. An Ariana Grande shirt, I love her. It's I keep forgetting. Medium. More Fabletics. Gray and purple pattern. This is a Betsy Johnson floral dress. with an exposed zipper. It looks like the size is cut out. I would guess that's around a large. Here is a Vineyard Vines long sleeve tee. And it's got this cute heart or lips graphic. Don't remember what label this is. It's got a mermaid. I think it's from Anthropology, and it's a swim top. It is a size medium. Let me know if you remember what what label that is. This is an Athleta jogger. With a stripe. So chic. So small. These water bottles keep your water cold for so long because I play volleyball, so it's just sitting out in the sand and it's still super cold when I drink. Take a drink. It says, I don't know if I like this. No time to exercise. Tired. Only excuses. Cookies. I'll start tomorrow. I don't know if I like that. This is Tesla Extra Large Hot Pink Legging. I think I might want to wear these myself. These are Fabletics, so small, purple, and pink floral. I picked up these because Lavender Clothesline says that the larger shells do well for her. So you never know. item I found right when it came out is this coach bag. The inside looks great. It looks like it's never really been used. So that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my new channel. Please like and subscribe my video. Bye!